ready to do your reading for January 2019. The very first card that you get, two cards really, but the first card that you get is the Pillar of Light from the Work Your Light deck, the Pillar of Light. And what it says is that your vibration is rising and you are the Oracle. You are the Oracle, Leo. I love your reading. It's just so spot on, it feels like. So your vibration is rising. Yes, we know this. This has been happening throughout 2018. It looks like when I started doing readings in May, is when I started, uh, you guys were having a hard time. And then you came through and then all kinds of magic has been happening in the readings through the end of 2018. And it's like you are the oracle, like you are just commanding your life right now. So as your vibration increases, all your sensitivities increase, they're inviting you to increase it even more, to continue with the rise in your vibration. They're inviting you to dance. Dance. Dancing is such a great, fun, joyful expression that involves your whole body moving. Uh, that will most definitely increase your vibration even more. So dance as often as you can in January. They're also inviting you to sleep. Sleep is really good. It's, it's kind of funny that it's coming right after dancing. Dancing is such a sort of very dramatic compared to sleeping. <laughs> dancing is a lot of movement with a lot of joy. Sleeping is almost feels like the opposite of resting. Uh, this is sleeping is when you rest and all your cells can sort of help you acclimate to the higher frequency faster. When you're sleeping, your cells are healing. Your cells are healing and acclimating to this higher vibration. So they're really inviting you to sleep as much as often as you feel like you need to. Listen to your body and sleep as, as often as you can because your cells then can adjust to the higher frequency. For some people, the ascension symptoms, this rise in vibration can cause a lot of um, symptoms, dizziness, headaches, uh, aches and pains in joints and things like that, uh, altered vision, you know, on a cellular level as we adjust to a higher frequency, sleeping will really help you make that adjustment faster. They're also asking you to eat healthy. Be very mindful of what you eat. It's really important and it will help. Especially if you're having ascension symptoms, you want your body to acclimate to higher frequencies faster. Because <laughs> as soon as they acclimate, all the aches and pains and dizziness and headaches go away. It's just your body acclimating. So uh, the faster you can help your body do that, the better. And with sleep and the proper diet, that can happen a lot faster for you. Yeah, how exciting. Now it looks like in 2018 and it might be continuing for some of you. Again, this is a general reading, so we're trying to connect with as many Leos as possible. For some of you, you've already been through this. Some of you might be at the end of this, what looks like sort of a transformation. The, um, the light deck is calling it an initiation where notice that it's like you're in the dark, uh, but you can see a tunnel at the end. It's like an initiation, uh, a rite of passage. Mm, you're going somewhere sacred. <laughs> On the other side of that, out through that tunnel. Some of you have already come through. Feels like some of you have already come through. If you haven't, then the beautiful thing about this card is that you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, is what they're saying. You're very close. You're very, very close. Your vibration is increasing, and your the light at the end of the tunnel of your initiation or transformation is right there. You're looking at it. You can see it now. You're that close. So if you're still in a bit of a transformation, hang in there. You're right at the end of it. 
and then others of you have already come through. That's what it feels like. Any cares and worries that you might have, just hand them over to the angels. You're not alone. The angelic beings are with you. Anything you're worrying about, just let it go. This would be uh, connected to this rite of passage or transformation. Any worries that you're having. Worry energy doesn't do anything for anybody. You know, it doesn't help you. So if you're worrying about anything, please hand that over to the angels. Let them take that. That doesn't help. And as you're sitting in this, if this resonates with you and you're still at the end of it, uh, a perspective that can help is that this is a learning experience. You know, they're calling it a rite of passage as if, as in, you know, you're meant, you were meant to go through this. There's a greater purpose for your soul. You know, soul contracts take you through this kind of thing. This is a learning experience. Let it be a learning experience. What can you take from this? What can you learn from this? What is your soul calling you to do? That's what they want to know. Let this question resonate with you throughout January. For all of you, really. So even if you've been through this, if you've gone to the other side of this and you are now the oracle, right? Your vibration is very much increasing. What is your soul calling you to do? This is a great question. I love this deck because they give you really great questions. What is your soul calling you to do now? Now that we're starting a brand new year, what are you called to do now? And whatever you get, when you ask that question, you'll get answers. So listen to your body, pay attention to what pops up in your mind, and when you get those answers, trust them. The Spirit's with you. Spirit is totally with you. So trust the answers that you get when you ask that question, what is my soul calling me to do in terms of life purpose? And have faith that whatever actions you take are going to be the right ones. Have faith and take off. Leap. It's a leap of faith. In other words, go with it. Go with it. So whatever your soul is calling you to do, you get an answer. Trust it and then go. These next few cards kind of all go together. It's like, go, come out of the closet. Come out of the closet, meaning, <laughs> meaning, go, take this leap of faith, start taking action on what it is that your soul is calling you to do now. That's what they're saying. And one of the things that you could do in terms of in terms of what your soul might be calling you to do. One of the things they're suggesting, you have free will, and you are the oracle, right? So you have free will. So they're suggesting that maybe since you've been through this initiation and it's been a learning experience, as these readings go, like a story, you have now learned a lot from this situation, even if you're still in the cave. You've learned a lot from where you've been. And so they're inviting you to teach what you've learned. Come out of the closet and teach what you've learned. Talk about it. This doesn't feel like a huge career change, you know. It doesn't feel like it's even so much about career, although it could be. But it feels more just like everywhere you go when you talk to people, share what you've learned. You know, if you meet anyone or if you recognize anyone in a similar situation, you've learned a lot in your life and through your experiences. And so don't hesitate to share your wisdom with people. It's part of your soul's calling if you choose to accept this. They're inviting you to that, not as a, a whole career path, but as a life path everywhere you go, teaching what you've learned. Go. Go now. <laughs> go now. Come out of the closet. Take that leap of faith. Go. Go now. You know? And this is as you've, you know, gone through this uh, initiation, transformation as the oracle, as your 
frequency, your resonance has increased, your vibration is faster and faster, you've slept a bit, so your body's acclimated to things, and now you want to know what your soul is calling you to do, and then go. Go now. <laughs> and your final card is from Ganesh saying yes, and not, not just yes, do this, but also if anything gets in the way, Ganesh is famous for using that trunk and moving things out of your way so that you can accomplish and succeed at what your soul is asking you to do. So Ganesh is here to say yes. He's also saying yes to, uh, he's right underneath this one, he's saying yes, you are the oracle. You can create whatever your soul is calling you to do. You can accomplish it. And wherever there might be something in your way, He's going to help. He's going to help clear the path for you. So go. Go, Leo. <laughs> I love this reading for you guys. <laughs> I love this. It's like your, your vibration's increasing. Dance. Sleep. Watch what you eat. If you're still in a bit of transformation, you're learning. Learn from it. And then asking this question about what your soul is wanting, trusting what you get, and taking that leap of faith now, like straight away. The energy, your energy feels really, really strong, powerful, happy, joyful. And if it doesn't, let it. All right? Let it be easy. You are the oracle. Yes, yes, you are. You are the oracle. And if you're in a hard time, it's simply on purpose for your soul to learn more, to turn around and teach humanity. It's your soul's purpose. It's part of your soul's purpose. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> and if you're still in this, know that this is on the other side. <laughs> This is what's on the other side through the tunnel that many of you will now be very, very close to coming out the other side. And then leap. Go, Leo. <laughs> All right. We're going to continue the conversation over on Vimeo. I hope you'll join us over there. The link is down below. In some ways, that they... Um, they confirm what this reading has already said and in many ways they have just a different way of saying it and uh, they also might have a totally different perspective for you for what's coming up in January so hopefully you'll join us on Vimeo I love you guys great reading have a fun and wonderful joyful January and uh, till next time take really good care of yourselves and we'll talk to you soon Mwah.